In today's episode of Tarot at the Movies, we will dive into the study of one of the most misunderstood characters in cinema. Well, for us anyway. Was she a devil? Or was she teaching through her personality type? The movie is The Devil Wears Prada, and our subject is Miranda Priestley, played by Meryl Streep. The Devil Wears Prada is a 2006 American comedy drama based on Lauren Weisberger's 2003 novel of the same name. Miranda Priestley, played by Streep, is a powerful fashion magazine editor, and Andrea, Andy Sachs, played by Anne Hathaway, is a college graduate who goes to New York City and lands a job as Priestley's co-assistant. Do you know why I hired you? I always hire the same girl. Stylish, slender, of course. Worships the magazine, but so often they turn out to be disappointing and um, stupid. So you, with that impressive resume and the big speech about your so-called work ethic, I, um, I thought you would be different. Okay. So the fool, Andy Sachs, goes on her journey, naive and full of curiosity, entering the Big Apple, or shall we say, the Garden of Eden, only to find that she needs a tool to perform her task. After a dress trial meeting in which Miranda berates her in front of the entire team, Andy approaches art director Nigel to help her learn the ropes in the world of fashion. So quit. What? Quit. I can get another girl to take your job in five minutes. One who really wants it. But I, I, no, I don't want to quit. That's not fair. But I, you know, I'm just saying that I would just like a little credit for the fact that I'm killing myself trying. Oh, Andy, be serious. You are not trying. You are whining. So here she meets her magician, Nigel played by Stanley Tucci, a top-tier stylist with a keen sense of duty. Nigel is one of the most valuable members of Editor-in-Chief Miranda Priestley's staff. His knowledge of the fashion industry and the masterful use of the tools needed are unparalleled, and his work ethic is second to none. Andy begins to dress stylishly and makes an effort to accommodate all of Miranda's whims and fancies. All right, we'll turn this for you, and... A poncho. You'll take what I give you, and you'll like it. We're doing this Dolce for you. Hmm. And shoes, Jimmy Choo. Mm. Nola Blahnik. Wow. Nancy Gonzalez, we love that. <laughs> okay, nice to see Rodriguez. This we love. Mm. Uh, it might fit. It might. Okay, now Chanel, you're in desperate need of Chanel. Darling, shall we? We have to get to the beauty department, and God knows how long that's going to take. So, now we have the fool meeting the magician in order to deal with the high priestess, who is obviously revealed as Miranda Priestley. Only the magician, Nigel, gets her and is able to stand toe-to-toe with her, and through this understanding, a strong relationship is established. What about Testino? Where are we on that? Zach Posen's doing some very sculptural suits, so I suggested that uh, Testino shoot them at the Noguchi Garden. Perfect. Thank God somebody came to work today. What about Noticing Andy's changed appearance and commitment, Miranda begins to give her more responsibility and complicated tasks to handle. Slowly but surely, Andy becomes more glamorous and absorbs the runway philosophy, and Andy intuitively can accommodate any request made using her new inner wisdom provided by the mental training of the high priestess. One copy. What are my twins going to do with that? Share? No, no, I made two copies and had them covered, reset, and bound so that they wouldn't look like manuscripts. This is an extra copy to have in file. You know, just in case. Well, where are these fabulous copies? I don't see them anywhere. There was the twins. No, on the train on the way to Grandma's. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm-mm. That's all. The work environment is stressful. Everybody fears the high priestess, a.k.a. Miranda Priestley. But as 
Andy absorbs the frequency of Miranda Priestley, she is able to become who she was intended to be in that phase of her journey. All the answers are in her if she would just trust her instincts. I see a great deal of myself in you. You can see beyond what people want and what they need, and you can choose for yourself. I don't think I'm like that. I couldn't do what you did to Nigel Miranda. I couldn't do something like that. Mm. You already did. So let's talk about the personality of the High Priestess as it concerns Miranda Priestley. Miranda Priestley's personality comes in ranking as an ENTJ commander, according to the Meyer Briggs type indicator. A commander, an ENTJ, is someone with the extroverted, intuitive, thinking and judging personality traits. They are decisive people who love momentum and accomplishment. They gather information to construct their creative visions, but rarely do they hesitate for long before acting on them. Andy, meeting the High Priestess, is acquiring new wisdom, particularly through goddess worship. Her co-worker Emily stated, A million girls would kill for this job. The High Priestess encourages you to develop your psychic abilities and your intuition. There's a scale. One nod is good. Two nods. Very good. There's only been one actual smile on record, and that was Tom Ford in 2001. An Obi belt. If she doesn't like it, she shakes her head. This. This is the dress that we have designed specifically and exclusively for you. And, of course, there's the pursing of the lips. Which means? Catastrophe. The High Priestess emphasizes silent wisdom. Less is more. This is an ideal time to listen and observe rather than push forward with plans. You can glean more strategic insight by blending in than dominating others. At first, Andy didn't dress or act in accordance with her new environment, creating a disrespectful attitude toward her new journey. Both those belts look exactly the same to me. You know, I'm still learning about this stuff and uh... this stuff oh okay i see you think this has nothing to do with you you go to your closet and you select i don't know that lumpy blue sweater for instance because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back but what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue it's not turquoise it's not lapis it's actually cerulean but as flamboyant and cunning the magician is, the high priestess uses inner wisdom and secrets to give her the edge. This was apparent when Nigel didn't get his dream job that he earned, but maybe Miranda knew something he didn't. The high priestess is always one step ahead. The high priestess is often said to be of masculine energy, and Meryl often said her performance was inspired by men, but kept their identities a closely guarded secret until now. The voice I got from Clean Eastwood Street said, He never, ever, ever raises his voice, and everyone has to lean in to listen. And he is automatically the most powerful person in the room. I uh, called over there for a reference. Left word with some snooty girl. Next thing you know, I got a fax from Miranda Priestley herself, saying that of all the assistants she's ever had, you were by far her biggest disappointment. And if I don't hire you, I am an idiot. Must have done something right. Miranda wasn't the devil. Andy just met the High Priestess. And with some help from the magician, she was changed forever with keener instincts and a new expansive intuitive mind. Again, this movie is packed full of the fool's journey. And we meet some great characters along the way. I may do a part two, so stay tuned. Thank you for taking your time with Tarot at the Movies.